Hello everyone and welcome back to Notes Naka. So in this video we were gonna start with weird algorithm but before that I wanna tell you you have to do some arrangements and I will show you how to do those. Now if we, I have logged in you can see if I go to weird algorithm and go to submit you can see we have to submit a file. We do not have an interface where we can write code and compile it and submit it right there like other platforms provide us. So in this we have to basically write code from scratch on our local computer and then submit it. So I don't know if it is a good thing or not. I think it is a good thing because you get to learn more when you write more code. I guess so. I don't know. So I don't know all that but that's just how we have to do it. So I will tell you how to do all the basic arrangements. So if you go ahead and do it in Dev C++ or code block or anywhere then it you can do it but it's really hectic to do it on there so what we're gonna do is make our own environment like this so we can write our code in main.cpp then we have input.txt where we give our input and output.txt where we get our output so uh, here I have taken ab as input and added them and uh, displayed it in output.txt so I will teach you how to make this interface and then we can go ahead now to do this what you have to basically do first is i have made a folder named css on my desktop and it has input.txt output.txt and main.cpp make these three files that's there is no rocket science in making these three files do it and after that uh, open it in sublime text so we have sublime text we will open the folder go to desktop and css open so we have a new window where we have our three files input main and output now what we need are three columns first of all so go to view layout and then we need three after that we want these to be stacked on top of each other so we will go to view group and two so we have our basic layout in this i want main uh, let's just erase all of this in this I want input and in this we want output. So now what we have to do is um, now if your uh, system already has GCC compiler then it's okay but if it does not have a C++ compiler then you have to first of all go ahead and download it. Now to download it what you can do is go to this website called Minji W64 which is a GCC for Windows and go to downloads and then go down over here in sources source force and then just download it from here download the latest version it will give you the um, downloader and then you can just run it and uh, you will be good to go now the thing is if you get stuck bit in between you have to do the environment paths you have to set it and many other things so if you get stuck I will uh, link a blog post in the description check it out it has a um, detailed explanation of how to do it step by step so just follow it and you can do it because I have also done it from there so it's better that I just link it that link that so after that is done so after your GCC and everything your environment and all is set you are good to go now what we will do is first of all write our code this is our code so just copy from here and paste it don't worry i will provide this in the description just check it out you can copy this basic code from there now the thing that we have to discuss over here is these three lines all of all of the other things are very much similar uh, to basic programming and if you are trying to do competitive programming then i assume that you already know these stuff so these three lines, four lines means uh, what we're trying to do is connect this and this to this. So we have input.txt, we want our input to go here, output to go here. That's why we have written these and while submitting our code, we will comment these and then submit. That's the only thing we are going to do with these. After all of this, to build this, if you just build it, then it's not going to happen. The thing is these two files are something that i have created what sublime text gives you by default is c++ single file 
Now we don't really want to use that because it's not very powerful. We want to create our own build. So I'm going to teach you how to create C++ 14 build. That's what uh, it covers everything and it's good enough to get started. So we have C++ 14. What we will do is tools, go to build system. We will build a new build system. Get rid of this and this is the code that we need. Now this I will again provide it in the description. Just go ahead, copy it and paste it over here. Don't go into details right now. So we have this and then save it. Save it and give, give your name C++14 and just save it. Since I have already done it, I'm not going to do it again. Just save it in packages user. You will be retrieved over there. So don't really do anything. Just save it there. So save it and then if you go to tools and build system, this will appear over here. So, so just click that and then tools build. So you can build and you should have your answer. So you should have your answer for that first we have to give our input 2, 3. Then if control B is also a command, you can use that. And it's not building. One. Okay, we have it. 2 plus 3, 5. So this is how you can set up your arrangement of sublime text for competitive programming. It is very useful. So I suggest you that you should do it. Otherwise, you can use other, other compilers like Dave C++ and all. But I think this is quite good since we're going to solve so much questions. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new at least. And if you did, then give us a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel and keep up with us because we're, we have awesome content coming your way. So till then, take care and bye bye and see you in next video with weird algorithm. Bye bye.